Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include ECB charge card on a railroad to Turkey The EU busts Twitter and Facebook funding blag To be or not to be in the European single market? That is the question. MPs write UK policy using cut and paste from Google plus more fiscal fudgery from the Etonian class wearing the long trousers. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Ah, oh, poor Mr Draghi. For a moment there, we thought you'd get a reprieve. Sadly, it's not to be, as your kleptocratic colleagues have been out on the tiles in Turkey with the ECB charge card. It might have been belly dancing, kebabs and dates, but whilst the party closed, the Turks secured a 100 million euros to splash out on a new high-speed train line. Ah oh well, perhaps you can persuade Rumpelstiltskin to come and weave you some gold to help shore up your euro bonds, which look to be feeling the pain from the vacuum in the European Central Bank's treasury vaults. Meanwhile, whilst our fiat financier dances with the Heidelbergs, more funny funding sleight of hand takes place. This time, Olaf has been called in to have a word with a bunch of crafty jokers from Bulgaria who've been accused of subverting rural development funding to splash out on social media through Twitter and Facebook. All very rural and agricultural, I've no doubt. Oh, the joys of the European single market. Clearly Mr Obama thinks it's a great idea and providing access is free and non-binding, then why wouldn't he? Some in Britain fear the idea of leaving the EU and the impact it could have on trade. Others welcome the ability to trade further afield and compete in an open global economy. This article looks at the issues. Looking for cool new ways to come up with the latest in hot legislation for the Bruswellian legalese blog, this article looks into claims that some of our learned kleptocrats in the Supreme Chamber work almost elvish magic as they scribe their latest reports and draft directives. Others, however, simply cut and paste from Google. I see the Commission's scribes of Mordor are etching the tablets of fiscal legislation with gay abandon. This latest report in our legislation section looks at the feasibility of developing a stability bond. Perhaps they're talking about a new kind of Euro IOU. These ones are more credible because they've been written in coloured pencil. Today in our video library, Dr. Eric Edmund is back with Eric's Analysis, Episode 6. Today, Eric considers the role of patriotism. Where has it gone and why is it so important? Uh, a quick hello to our new YouTube channel subscribers. Hi to Sue Mind Your Own, uh, Pirate Devil Falcon and Sergio Nuno. Plus a comment from Brian Barmlin. Brian says, the EU needs to stop talking in such big words. Get back to proper basics and protect the people and the lands they wanted to claim as their own all those years ago. More failures than wins leads to failure. And damn it, let the people of Ireland handle it. They cannot operate as a fully independent nation whilst in the chokehold of bureaucratic policy preventing forward motion. We completely agree with you, Brian. Thanks for your comment. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, the Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis, 
for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>